hello, my friends, and welcome to the Live Inspired Podcast, Monday Morning Moments with John O'Leary. We record these each week so you and I can begin these weeks and these days in on on fire with a burst of inspiration. Let's get after it today, shall we? Last week, country music lost one of its most iconic stars. Over the course of several decades, Toby Keith's perfect, deep, rich voice belted out 42 songs that became top 10 on the Billboard country chart. While many of those songs were about bars or girls or his love for his country, it was one of his most genteel songs that remains not only one of my favorite songs, but also an anthem we should try to live out loud throughout our lives. And the backstory of the song is as inspiring as the song itself. Let me tell you more. While playing in a charity golf tournament, Toby Keith was matched with the legendary actor and director and tough guy, Clint Eastwood. Making their way through the course and chatting about various projects both were working on, Eastwood shared that he was about to begin directing and starring in a new movie called The Mule. Toby Keith, at that point in his late 50s, laughed with amazement and then asked how a man almost 90 years old could possibly remain as active and as involved and as alive as Clint Eastwood. Eastwood thought for a moment, looked Toby Keith right in the eyes, and responded in his famously tough guy voice, I don't let the old man in. I'm going to say that again. I don't let the old man in. This encounter sparked Toby Keith that very day to begin writing a song, borrowing advice he just received on a golf course. Don't let the old man in. It's a song that reminds us that age is merely a number. It invites us to be more intentional in the manner we approach our days, regardless of our age. It encourages us to live with vitality and to not succumb to the weariness or cynicism that so often can accompany aging. With its gentle melody and reflective lyrics, the song sparks us to let go of fear, to be less complacent, and to live each day with a little bit more zest. Toby Keith's last television performance was on September 28th at the People's Choice Awards. Although few people knew it at the time, Toby that evening was in profound pain. The stomach cancer ravaging his body as the singer courageously walked onto the stage. With his wife of almost four decades in the front row, wiping tears, knowing that this was likely her husband's way of saying goodbye, Toby sang this love song not only to his fans, but to life. It was, don't let the old man in. I'm going to read to you some of the lines. Don't let the old man in, it begins. I want to leave this alone. Can't leave it up to him. He's knocking on my door. And I knew all of my life that someday it would end. Get up and go outside. Don't let the old man in. Many moons I have lived. My body's weathered and worn. Ask yourself how old you would be if you didn't know what day you were born. Try to love on your wife. And stay close to your friends. Toast each sundown with wine. Don't let the old man in. My friends, that was the last performance he gave on national television. And it's a powerful performance that you and I might benefit from living out loud through our lives. Regardless of our age, our circumstances, or our challenges that we face today, we have agency to love passionately to experience life fully, and to live intentionally. Undoubtedly, this is true for all of us, life gets hard. Things happen. We get tired. We get burned. But today, we get to choose. We get to choose this, to joyfully walk onto the stage anyway, and to choose to not let the old man in. I want to thank you for being part of our Live Inspired podcast community. And I want to remind you, regardless of the challenges that you might be facing, that you are not alone, that the foundation is firm, the headwinds might be real, but the best is yet to come. So family and friends, servants and leaders for this time, and until next time, my name is John O'Leary. Today is your day. Don't let the old man in and live inspired.